StreamYard is one of the simplest tools to create a free live stream that seamlessly integrates across multiple platforms. This means that you can create a free professional live stream across all your different channels to reach and engage with your entire audience. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. Now today I'm excited to dive into a highly requested StreamYard tutorial designed for beginners. And today I'm going to show you how you can get started with professional live streaming across platforms for free with StreamYard. Okay, so before we launch into StreamYard, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note, let's dive into this tutorial and walk you through how you can create your own professional live stream. Okay, so let's go ahead and start live streaming for free with StreamYard. Now to arrive at StreamYard, all you need to do is type in StreamYard.com and that's going to take you there. I'll also pop the link down in the description below this video. Then what we want to do is navigate up to pricing. And under pricing, if we scroll down to StreamYard's free plan, you'll notice some features and limitations that we're going to quickly mention. Down here you can see that with the free plan you can stream across Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter and Twitch. Now below that one of the limitations with the free plan is a small StreamYard logo is placed in the corner of your live streams and then down here we have streaming limits of up to 20 hours per month on the free plan. Now most importantly to remove the StreamYard logo you will need to upgrade to the basic plan. And this paid plan will also give you unlimited streaming and these other features down here. But what we're going to do is get started with the free plan. So simply come down and click sign up. Then simply enter in your email up here and come down and click get login code. Then simply locate the six digit code that will be sent to the email that you signed up with. I will quickly fetch that now. And once you've added your code, come down and click log in. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we want to create live streams for our small business so that we can reach and engage with our audience. So I'm going to come down and click small business and then select onward. And first and foremost, what we need to do under destinations is select and connect the different channels that we want to stream to. So for the purpose of this tutorial, what I'm going to do is connect a Facebook group. We want to start live streaming directly into a Facebook group, but you can go ahead and connect a Facebook business page, your Facebook profile, LinkedIn profile, our LinkedIn company page, YouTube channel, Twitter, and these other options down here. So what I'm going to do is connect our Facebook group. And it's a very straightforward and simple process to connect each of these channels. So I'm going to go ahead and connect Facebook and click continue as Stuart, which is my account. And then come down and click OK and then continue. I'm going to select the group that I want to stream directly to. And here what we need to do is quickly install the StreamYard app to our Facebook group. So what we're going to do is come down and click open Facebook group settings. Then navigate over to search and type in StreamYard and simply select the StreamYard app and come down and click add. And just like that, we've simply connected the StreamYard app with our Facebook group. So now what we need to do is head back to StreamYard. And down here you can see that we've successfully connected our Facebook group with StreamYard and now we can stream directly into this Facebook group. And if you want to add another destination, another channel to stream to, simply navigate up to add a destination. And simply connect the channels that you want to stream to. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to use our Facebook group. So what we're going to do now is navigate up to broadcasts. 
and under broadcast before we go ahead and create our first broadcast our first live stream you can see down here that we have access to up to five hours of recording storage now you only have access to recording for the first seven days before you have to upgrade to a paid plan if you want to use this record feature so what we're going to do is navigate up to create a broadcast and click here and then come down and we can choose to create a new broadcast or use a pre-recorded video what we're going to do is select new broadcast and then up here make sure that your channels are selected you can see that our Facebook business group has been selected then click here if you want to add an additional destination where you want to stream to and then over here we have the option to record only this is great if it's your first time and you don't want to create a live stream you just want to record a stream so that you can get the hang of how StreamYard works and again, like I mentioned, you have seven days to trial recording on StreamYard on the free plan. So what we're going to do is add a title for our broadcast and then a brief description. Go ahead and do that now. And then once you've gone ahead and added a title and description, come down and make sure that this option is selected. Add comment instructions to my post. Basically what this does is gives instructions to your viewers about commenting. And then if we navigate down here, what we can do is choose to schedule for later. And basically what you can do is come down here and upload a thumbnail image. You can also schedule the start time of your broadcast. Now scheduling is great, especially for Facebook, because what this does is notifies your potential members, for example, in this group, that there is a broadcast that is scheduled and they will receive a notification before the broadcast goes live. So what I'm going to do is unschedule this. We want to create the broadcast right now. So come down and click create broadcast. And hello there, before we go ahead and create our first broadcast, you can see that we have some options that we want to check before we enter our studio. So for example, over here, you can see that the mic is working. That looks good. You can see that motion over here. Then below this, we have mute. We can go ahead and mute the audio if we like. We can also navigate over to stop cam. Now, if I click here, you can see that I have my avatar over here this is an image i uploaded earlier what you can do to edit your avatar if you don't want your video to show is simply navigate up to edit avatar if i click here i can come down here and upload an additional image that i want to use for my avatar instead of using video so what i'm going to do is come down and click done and then navigate up to start cam again and then if i navigate over to cam and mic and click here and this is basically where we want to check some settings. So for example, we have camera, we can come down and select an external camera if we like. We also have audio, we can change and set the audio. We can use a mic, an external mic or the computer mic. We can also come down and test the speaker. I recommend keeping echo cancellation turned on and also leave automatically adjust mic volume selected. Now we also have access to the green screen option. However, this is recommended if you have a green screen behind you or something similar. So what I'm going to do is exit out of this and then I can also come down and change my display name if I like. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, what I'm going to do is turn my camera off and then come down and click enter studio. And here we are within our live stream. Now, before we go ahead and click go live, what we want to do is navigate through all the features and settings within our broadcast before we go ahead and actually live stream into the different destinations that we selected earlier. Now up here, you can see a blank screen. This is because we're currently not streaming anything into StreamYard. For example, down here, you can see that we have myself, Stuart Gould. I'm currently not part of the stream yet. Now what I can do is simply click add to stream and that's going to add me to this stream. Now down here, what you can do is actually change the layout of your stream. At the moment, it's just one person. I can go two people side by side, two people side by side, but with a background. Then I can go three individuals, 
or more for example I can have the main person on the left and then everyone else on the right that is part of the stream then I also have these other three options if I'm screen sharing so I could have my profile here and then next to that on the right hand side I can have a screen that I am sharing and what I'll do is show you an example of these layouts shortly then if we navigate down here we have our main actions when we are broadcasting for example we can click mute we can mute ourselves we can navigate over here and we can start the video for example if I click here you can see that my video appears again hi again <laughs> and then over here we have cam and mic so these are settings for our camera and our mic that we briefly mentioned before then we have screen share so for example if I click screen share I can navigate up to video share or screen share so what I want to do is actually screen share so if I click here and then navigate up to screen share and this allows us to select an entire screen to share or a specific window to share or a Chrome tab to share so for example if I come down here and select this Facebook group tab and then come down and click share and then navigate up to view tab streamyard.com and just like that you can see that we're now screen sharing this Chrome tab and if you want to go back to the full screen of this Chrome tab or the screen that you're sharing what you can do is simply navigate up to view tab and click up here and that's going to take you back to the full screen now down here you can see the specific layout that we have selected down here we have myself over here which is one of the only guests that is part of this broadcast this stream I can also navigate over here next to that and click this layout and that brings up this entire screen share I can also navigate over to this layout and this is my favorite layout as you can see it's clean it's sharp it's very professional so I like to use this layout and then if we come down here you can see that we now have two screens so if I go ahead and remove myself by clicking remove you can see that this screen takes up the entire broadcast down here you can see that this screen is still active and the stream that I was part of is now deactivated so basically you can add additional streams that you can choose to switch in and out of your broadcast this gives you complete control when you're streaming through StreamYard so what I'm going to do is add myself to the stream again by clicking add to stream and then what I'm going to do is actually turn my camera off and just like that I've turned my video off and now it's just my avatar now we can also come down here and stop the screen share if we like and we can also invite guests by clicking invite and with the free plan you can have up to six people on screen at once if you want to add more people you can simply upgrade at any time and to invite guests to your broadcast just come down and copy this to clipboard by clicking copy to clipboard and you can send that link to guests via different communication channels you can also use gmail email or messenger down here so what i'm going to do is exit out of this and then we can also come down and leave the studio if we like now if we navigate over to the right hand side you want to make sure that you have comments selected at all times this allows you to see any comments that your viewers are leaving and you can also click on those comments if you want them to display on your screen for everyone to see then under comments we have banners we can go ahead and create a banner and you can add any kind of banner that you like for example I could add a call to action CTA saying get in touch if you need help with your ads and then you have the option to click scroll across bottom ticker if you like so if I click here and then come down and click add banner and then navigate up here and click show we can see our new moving banner down at the bottom of this screen so what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and hide this banner and you can go ahead and create any banner that you like so think about the call to action that you want your viewers to do when they watch this video or after they watch this broadcast then next we have brand if we select brand this is where we can change our brand color we can change the theme if we like for example if I click minimal bubble or block 
you can see that the theme slightly changes. Now below theme, you can see logo. Now, like I mentioned with the free plan, you do have StreamYard branding. And unfortunately you cannot remove this and add your own logo unless you decide to upgrade to the basic paid plan. Then below logo, we have overlay. And again, you cannot add an overlay unless you upgrade to a paid plan. Then we have video clips. You can upload a video clip before your live stream starts. For example, you can add a countdown if you like. Then we have background. Unfortunately, you cannot add a custom background unless you upgrade to a paid plan. So there are quite a few limitations with the free plan, but it is sufficient enough for basic live streams. And then we can come down and enable or disable show display names. Then below brand, we have private chat. This is where you can chat privately with your guests that you have on your broadcast. And then last, we have settings again. We can also come up here and we can change the name of our broadcast before we go live if we want. And then we can select here to ensure that we're ready to go live in the right channels. Then if we exit out of that, what you want to do once you're ready to go live is simply navigate up to go live and you will start streaming directly into the channels that you selected. And that is everything we wanted to cover in today's beginners tutorial, helping you get started with StreamYard completely for free. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's live streaming tutorial for beginners to help you get started with StreamYard. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and then subscribe to the channel and that way I'll see you next week. Take care guys.